So this is Lyra, and she's the new Max Codes Discord bot. She's my idea of the most ultimate Discord bot who can basically do anything. And in today's episode, we're making an AFK command. So the first thing we need to do is make a new Discord bot. The first thing you need to do is go to bots and click add bots, and then you can call it what you want and add a profile picture. And we need presence intent and server member intent and message content in message content intent. <laughs> and then we need to go to the URL generator, click bot administrator and copy the generated link and then add it to your server. So then it should appear in the server. And then we need to copy the token for later. I'm gonna use Replic, because it's just so easy. Let's call it uh, AFK. All right, so I'm just gonna leave the token at the top for a bit. Oh man, I haven't made Discord bots in like months. Well, okay, well surely the first thing we need to do is import Discord, right? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, and then from discord.extensions, import commands. And then we want our client. So client equals commands dot bot command prefix. And then intents equals discord dot intents dot all. And then we want to run the bot. So client dot run. And then the token in speech marks, please. There we go. Hey, was it red? Yeah. That's so stupid. I don't. So since this is a template, right? I'm gonna wanna use cogs, but I do not like saying that. It sounds way too sus. I think they should change the name. All right, anyways, let's make another file called AFK. And this is our cog. Cog. I said cog. And then we need to make a class called, call it Lyra in it, and then put commands.cog and then def in it. Lyra in it and then def in it. Self.client equals client. And now we have just initiated a cog. Bro, I cannot. So then we need a function to like add the cog basically that can be called from the main. So def setup client, client.add cog, Lyra in it, client. And then we need to go back to the main.py. We need to add the cog to the to the bot. Firstly, we're gonna wanna import the AFK and then put it in our cogs. Cogs. I mean, surely maybe later you might have more cogs. So we wanna use a for loop to add all of them. <laughs> add all the cogs. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. There's a reason why I didn't upload for so long. I feel like code with me videos work better just because I, I, I don't have to be responsible for teaching you something. And that's like, that feels good on me. You know what I mean? All right, so now we've done the basics. Let's work on the logistics. There's three things that we need to consider. Firstly, how are we gonna store the data? Someone's gonna send a message like question mark AFK and then there's this message, and then we have to store it somewhere. And I'm thinking something like a dictionary or a list. And then the next thing is, once you set it, you need a listener to find out whether the person has been mentioned and then send the message. And then the last thing we need to consider, how to stop sending the message when this person returns. Yeah, so those, those are the three components that we have to figure out. And I guess we shall start with the AFK command. I would like to use a list. You know why? Because I'm lazy. In it, you want me to use a dictionary? Yeah, you'd be fancy in that. No, it's it's a famous saying. If it works, it works. All right, let's start with the command at commands dot command async def fk self ctx ctx means context by the way, very important. And then we want to put star args. So args is the name of the variable and is what's going to be input. Like when you put question mark AFK, the input will be args and the star means there can be many args. So you can have a sentence. Man, you're just learning new things every day with max codes and it is amazing. You know, I like, I'm just such a nice guy. I'm teaching everybody base.join orgs. And then we want to append the data, self.data.append 
Well, first we want to add his ID so that we can find him later. And then we want to append the message. Wow. 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 Oh, I'm so good. What? It's already done. So the next thing we want is to send the message when the person is mentioned, right? So we need something called a listener. And what a listener does is it reads all the conversations like a creepy little shit. It, it like takes in all the messages and reads through them. So first commands.cog.listener. And then we want async def on message, which basically means for every message. So this will go and retrieve all the messages and the data about them. Then we want to find out if the person has been mentioned for iron range uh, length self dot data. We need to find out if this person has been mentioned and the way that discord mentions people is through like this format. It's like more than for at and then their ID, so self.data i. Like if you get what I mean, basically, if I copy my ID, I put smaller than, I put at, copy that, and then I close it, it's a mention. So then we can use that to see if this mention is in message. You get me? I'm just so clever. So if that is in message.content, then we know someone's been mentioned. But we also, if the bot wants to mention that person, like we have to let them, right? So put and not message dot author dot bot. So then we need to send a message because that person has been mentioned. So await message dot channel dot send. They said self dot data five plus one. And then we want to break the loop so that it's more fun. Bro, it's already inefficient, right? Because like half of this doesn't need to be searched through because we're adding the data. But you know what, right? I'm so damn lazy. I just don't care. If it works, it works. Like, don't come at me. If it works, it works. You know, like, what are you gonna do? Uh, you can either return none or you can break. So why not do both? All right, uh, the next thing we need to do is to remove the data when the person comes back at commands.cog listener async def. I'm gonna use on typing. Typing has three inputs. It's got channel, user, and when. If the user.id is in uh, self.data.remove user.id. You see, I'm extremely lazy. And then like, if we only do this, then the messages will stay in here. You know what, I'm gonna be a really nice guy today. I'm gonna remove the messages. Index, self.data.index user.id. And then we want to remove. So self.data.remove self.data i plus one and then remove. Okay, the data has been removed. And then maybe we want to send something like, hey, this person's back. So await channel.send f user.mention has returned. All right, no way it works first try, yeah? The, oh my God, installing modules takes so long. Uh, Cactus is here today. Oh, it's running. AFK, Lara, you won baddie, man. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't make, I didn't make it send a message. Maybe we should do that. Await ctx.send AFK set. All right, let's do it again. Hey, yo, they want us to join the hub. Let's, uh, let's tag Mr. Maxi. Hey, hey, all right. So now if we start typing. Hey, fuck it. But basically first try. <clears throat> you know, sometimes. Sometimes, right, when your IQ is just so damn high, you just start to impress yourself. Like, you don't even need other people anymore. It's just, it's amazing, you know, like, what what I can do. What is this what can I say? Nothing, I guess. It's good to be back. It's good to see everyone. And I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.